Hey guys, it's your girl Nessie here coming to you again with another video. Um, like I said, my name's Nessie. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Hey to everybody that's new. Hey to everybody that's old. Thank you for checking out. And today we're gonna do a bit of a haul, but this will actually go into the um about face, which is about skincare, which is a series that I've been doing, but not really. It's just like two sections. That's neither here or there. But before we get into everything, I want you guys to remember if you like this too, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, anything like that. So I can keep giving you guys content that you like and that will help me, yeah, give you content that you like. But I'm rambling and um, yeah, let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about products from oh, the Abnormal Beauty Company. This box is too big from the screen or DCM I think that's how you pronounce it um these are not new although well they're new to me because it has been um all kinds of crazy trying to get these because obviously the if you have been keeping up with the social media and just in the beauty community or whatever um these have been all the rage all of the um skincare that is supposed to be kind of cheap. Well, cost efficient, not cheap. I'll say that. That sounds better. Um, from the ordinary. So that's how they look. That's how all of them look nice, clean packages. And yeah, I got a few things. I have not been able to get a lot of these. That's why this is my first time sort of um, reviewing it. So this just came in recently. Um, I still didn't get everything I wanted to get. I definitely wanted to try their um, foundation. They actually have another one coming out um, within the month of August I hear. August, September and that's supposed to be um, like a, they already have a full coverage and one that has a serum in it. So there's that but it stayed gone and of course that was the big thing about it is that it was also cheap. Um, cost fishing <laughs> six dollars six ninety nine plus tax so you ended up paying maybe about eight dollars for a bottle of um foundation and the same thing goes for these products okay so and i'll just get into them i have not used these yet i'm going to put my final review of them in about this a little um later on and this is just a haul so yeah the ordinary is i believe this is a korean beauty brand um well under the abnormal beauty company they have several um different areas but the ordinary has been all the rage okay so i got four things i did not want to get um more than that i saw a lot of different people buying different serums but um some of them do the exact same thing so there's no point of getting all of that so i will start with this bad boy and this is the um um Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And it's also nice that it has the pH on there. And that is 3.6. I'll move my finger. And the directions are you're supposed to use this um, at night. And um, only once a day. And of course you use it like any other toner. You put it on a cotton pad. Woo woo woo. Avoid your eyes. And with this it's supposed to got, um, this is supposed to be good for acne prone and like um even kind of oily to help keep um keep that at bay and i think this is probably one on the more expensive side of like eight bucks i will put in the correct price because no one believes in putting prices on their invoices in the box anymore so anywho this is how it looks it's kind of a peachy i'll turn it to the side peachy kind of liquid it has, and you get eight um, fluid ounces, and it comes with this spout. But of course, it has a metal top um, for safety. And I will start using this once I run out of my um, Olay Hendrickson that I showed in the last about face, which I only really have a splash. But you know, it takes a minute to go through toner because you don't need to overly saturate your pad. So yes, there's that, and I'll put that back in the box later. Okay. The next thing is the um, AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. And this is a 10 
minutes. Um, exfoliating facial and the pH balance of this is also six, well, not six, six is too high. 3.6 and what you basically do um, is some um, lactic acid and citric acid and salicylic acid and you don't use this every day. It is a, a pill. You are supposed to put this on after you have cleaned your face. Um, let's see if I have the front. And let it sit for 10 minutes if you can stand it obviously and it's supposed to give you a light chemical peel and um, you rinse it with warm water and of course avoid your eyes and the thing about these um this is supposed to be a gentle peel like i like to exfoliate that's also good for you to do to get that dead skin off and just a renew and all that but you obviously are not supposed to do it every day and you only need to do this one about once a week yeah and how many you get one fluent ounce with this yes and it comes in a dropper form as you can see and ooh, let's fill this up kind of this burgundy yeah and do that um i would even put that on with a um a makeup brush foundation brush just to get an even application all right let's see what else i'm saying all right and then there's a salicylic acid solution for the blemish prone skin and that's how it looks folks so, for me boo thanks and of course you um can use this every day this has salicylic acid and um witch hazel you can use this in the morning and in the night and it's basically you put it on directly on your spot so uh, this will be great for when you do have breakouts or that's what it's supposed to do it is clear as you can see and it's only two percent so it shouldn't be it's mostly witch hazel then if it's two percent salicylic acid and the rest is witch hazel so hmm. but both of those are good and this is half an ounce half one, yeah 0.5 fluid ounces but it's a spot treatment so that should be more than enough and i'll insert the prices on those like i said yeah okay and finally it is the um i guess the buffet the buffet and what this is supposed to do is um it is a serum and you can also use this um to be uh your carrier kind of oil or serum for when you use kind of harsher things i didn't want to get retinol because I'm kind of scared of getting retinol to put it directly on your face, but if you did get the retinol that they also carry with that, um, that's for people that, retinol is really for people that, I would say for more um, acne prone skin, cause that's a more aggressive peel. So think of it like that, at least that's what I know people for using it from. So people that have like um, cystic acne sort of thing, and they even have retinol that is a different levels but I would use that so with this there yeah and you can put this one on every day so what is basically in this one it is ooh, it's got um hyaluronic acid which is for um, moisturizing amino acids bio derivatives there is a star it's like um so it is just a buffet actually of things to put on you, but that's basically what's in here that I know right off of the bat, but um, basically it's a serum. And like I said, this can be a good carrier for when you do um, use your retinol and kind of harsher peeling solutions. All right, so that's all I got. I did not get the whole collection because like I have told you before, I don't do that. I like to see how this will work. I'll come back with it um, and review it. And, uh, and an about face in um, the future. So that's just what I got. Um, yeah, so I'm saying I'm a lot and I'm ranting, so this is the end. Um, if you have any questions, if you've even tried any of this to see what it's like, I know a lot of people are tending to get everything because they are so cheap for um, skincare and like stuff that would normally be expensive. So yeah, there's that, but you know, Keep that in mind, you don't need to get everything and be gentle with your skin. And I'm going to obviously do spot tips with all these. And I would recommend that you do the same. Alright, I've rambled enough. 
Thank you guys for watching. Remember that Nessie loves you. So bye.